If you've ever gone to the grocery store to buy chicken, you might have been intimidated by the offerings at least once or twice. Organic? Cage-free? What does it mean? And does it even matter? This is what you need to know about buying chicken. Chicken is chicken is chicken, right? Not really. So what's it supposed to look like anyway? Here's what Bart Pickens, executive chef at Party Fowl, has to say. The skin should be a yellow tint, and the meat should be pinkish and natural looking in cut or shape. Fresh chicken should not have an odor. Breasts should be pale pink with very little fat, and dark meat should be dark pink with some white fat. If you know what chicken should look like and how it should smell, you'll be able to make the right choices when faced with rows upon rows of chicken in the refrigerated case at the grocery store. Reading the label carefully and knowing how to decipher the information can tell you quite a bit about the meat you're purchasing. According to Chef Jahanga Mehta of Graffiti Earth, a New York restaurant focused on sustainability, one good thing to look for on chicken labels is the halal stamp. Whether you need to seek it out for religious reasons or not, Mehta says, the chickens are very fresh and you'll be able to sleep soundly at night knowing that your chicken was farmed humanely and responsibly. He also recommended looking for grass-fed chicken rather than chicken that was fed corn or other feeds. Though buying large quantities of frozen chicken is easy and convenient, it's not going to result in the tastiest meat. For that, you want chicken that's fresh, meaning it's never been frozen. Chicken that's labeled as fresh has never had an internal temperature below 26 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the freezing temperature for poultry. Why does that matter? Well, freezing and thawing can change the texture of foods, and chicken is no exception. Brian Smith, co-owner of The Butchery, says, Much of that grocery store chicken is frozen during transport, then thawed before it hits the shelves. Once chicken is frozen, it eats differently and can typically only be frozen slash thawed once. The texture and water content are noticeably impacted. Free range is a popular choice among chicken buying experts. According to the USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service, chicken can be labeled as free range if the producer can prove to the USDA that the chickens have been given access to the outdoors. You might think it's just a chicken buzzword, but for some chefs, it's more than that. Q's chef, Michael Lewis, puts it this way. The more humane the chickens are raised and butchered, the less stress they endure, and thus the more pristine their meat will be. Low stress plus good diet equals healthy. Holds true for all of us. But you might also see chicken that's labeled as pasture-raised, and that wasn't actually regulated by the USDA until 2019. And it means just what it says if food safety guidelines are being followed. Farm-raised labels are much more vague since most chickens are raised on farms, and the type of farms vary greatly. If you're really looking for chicken that spent some time outdoors, free range is your best bet. Another buzzword you'll often see on labels of your poultry is hormone-free. While it might make it seem like that particular chicken is healthier and more natural than other options, it's probably not. The FDA hasn't approved the use of hormones for raising any type of birds that will be used for food, so the hormone-free label is completely unnecessary. All chicken legally sold in the US is hormone-free. If it appears on the label, it's pretty much just a marketing tool. Antibiotics, on the other hand, absolutely can be added to poultry but many feel you should avoid them if possible. A designation of no antibiotics added can, according to the USDA, be added to the label of chicken products so long as the producer can provide proper documentation proving it's true. And that's actually pretty important. Both the FDA and CDC blame antibiotic use in farm animals as a reason for growing human resistance to the drugs. But it's only recently that the FDA has begun to set any regulations about their use. This means it's up to you to make a decision about antibiotics in your chicken and to check the label carefully if you opt to avoid it. If the chicken is labeled as certified organic, that means that it's been certified to meet the qualifications that the USDA has set for organic products. Buying organic products can help your family avoid questionable additives, as well as making strides towards sustainability and conservation. Still, the benefits of buying organic chicken are pretty debatable. While one chef told Reuters that it's nearly impossible to distinguish the taste of an organic chicken from a non-organic one, others claim the different eating habits of organic chickens result in tastier meat. Whether or not organic chicken is a healthier option is also highly debated by scientists and nutritionists alike, meaning the decision really comes down to your personal preference. Read the labels and make sure you're getting what you think you are. If all you ever buy is boneless, skinless chicken breasts, you're missing out on a lot. Take it from Chef Jahanga Mehta, who says, When seeking chicken, I recommend always going with thighs over another part of the bird. It's the most tender, flavorful, and really versatile. The number of dishes you can create with the thigh is really incredible. 
Chicken thighs can be prepared in practically any way with practically any flavor profile. So while you think your family will only eat plain Jane boneless, skinless chicken breasts, if you take a chance on chicken thighs, you might be surprised at just how delicious they can be. It sounds basic and almost makes too much sense, but if you want to buy the best quality chicken and get the best deals for it, you should be chatting up the butcher wherever you buy your meat. You'll find that your local butcher is a wealth of information about not just chicken, but all kinds of meat. The butchery's Brian Smith says, If you shop for chicken at your local butcher shop, you have the opportunity to ask your butcher questions beyond what is shown on the label at a typical grocery store such as whether it is all-natural, non-GMO, organic, slash free-range, etc. Beyond that label, you can find out what farm the chicken was raised on and whether it was ever frozen. Shopping at small local businesses where the butchers have relationships with the farmers and can form a relationship with you too can help you feel certain that you're buying responsibly. Talking to and building a relationship with your local butchers can make buying chicken simple. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.